Welcome back to Weapons Only. Uh, it's been a few days since I've recorded anything at all in this account, but I did log in and do some farming. I farmed up all the materials we needed for good old Freedom Sworn in everyone's favorite domain. Uh, you know, this, well, it's not available today, but it doesn't matter because I already farmed for it. Yay! Uh, it was pain, and I'm not going to show you it because you've experienced that Mondstadt domain for yourself, probably, and you know it just sucks with the stamina reduction, but it wasn't that bad. It just took like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, of course, I have farmed a whole bunch of uh, the Animo QB. Let's see, I have 34 out of 8, uh, of course. I need more. I need a few more, though. Uh, we need, from what I counted, 20, or sorry, 40 total to have enough to fully ascend Gene. Um, I do intend to get Gene to at least level 80 and fully ascend in this video. I gotta collect, I, the reason she is not leveled at all is because uh, I need dandelions, and I... Those are going to be annoying, and we're probably going to have to bounce around in co-op to, to get those, which is really annoying. But anyways, we're just going to finish firing for Jean quick, because, uh, or her, her boss materials real quick at least, because it would be nice to at least be done with that. Um, oh, I did get one good artifact, which I guess I'll show you before I murder this boy. I, I got this thing, which, boy, am I real sad that this is not on Wanderer's Troop. Because EM main set is much more likely to be useful on, on Wanderer's Troop. But I, I've got to sure as heck try to find someone it's useful on, because good lord. Well, I, we'll see how it rolls, I suppose. <laughs> this is like literally the best stats you could possibly ask for on an EM timepiece. And I don't have much fodder because I've been farming bosses the whole week instead of artifacts. But I don't know, let's get to the, the level whatever and see what we get. And then I'll maybe farm some artifacts, I suppose. First level up. It's great. Let's go. <laughs> if if only we had a Sino on this account or something. Well, I don't know. It's not the greatest piece for Sino. Uh, it, this is probably not an on onset piece for anyone. But anyways, level eight. As ER, it's fine. It's the the fifty CV dream is definitely dead now, but it's fine because. Uh, okay. Well, now all dreams are dead. Well, not all dreams, but. Most dreams. And even more dreams. Oh boy. Okay, well, this went straight from cracked to still good to I'm not going to bother level 20 anymore because um, I don't really think we need to use... I don't, well, okay. I, I, Rosaria might get a lot of value out of it. Like, this has such high stat value, it actually might make a lot of sense to put on Rosaria versus her existing piece. Um... But again, it's an offset, so I needed to do an onset goblet, which, you know, I don't have an onset goblet, so... Maybe, we'll see in the future. Maybe it's a reason to farm more Gilded Dreams, I guess. I, I guess. Anyways. Um, yeah, the Elemental Mastery Artifact, we mu we'll probably level to 20. Uh, if it gets another crit roll, it genuinely might be quite good. And we could use that as a potential off piece for, for Rosaria. And... That, that would just require getting an onset goblet, which is, it's possible we get a better onset goblet. Uh, it's just unlikely. We could use our current goblets on Rosaria, on Kaya, and then we can use, you know, the, uh, a new onset goblet to do an off-piece EM timepiece. And the reason we'd want to do, like, an EM timepiece potentially is because, of course, Staff of Scarlet Sands converts EM to attack. So if you're consistently getting reactions anyways with her skill and her burst, uh, then having an EM is already probably a little bit better than attack and this converting em to attack makes em timepiece even better so an em timepiece with a lot of crit like this one could actually be very good for rosaria it's just a bit unfortunate that i rolled this much into attack percent but attack percent is still not bad right so as far as like stat value goes it's got more stat value than this one other than the, the loss of the er of course might be relevant but i don't know we'll see what the last roll goes into i don't have the fodder to level it up right now though but we'll probably spend some of my condensed resin that i saved from one day and uh, level that up. Oh, I have some wishes. I forgot about that. I guess I'll use those in, in one second. First, we got a cube to murder. Alright, cube successfully murdered. Please give me three, because if I get three drops from this one and three drops from the next one, it should t be, take a little bit of luck. Then it saves me 40 resin. Or two. That works too. I mean, I, whatever. But while I wait for it to respawn... Let's do a single pull, or two single pulls. Are we near four star pity? I have no idea. Why bother checking? It's more exciting this way. 
Never, there's never a video that goes by on weapons only. It doesn't have wishing content lately. I want, <laughs> I don't like right now, by the way, if you go to my channel page, you just you like look at my channel and you see it's like 80% wishing videos in the last month. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not what I want my channel to be, but it's just kind of what it accidentally ended up being because there was all kinds of wishing things to do. And it's also easy content. I mean, the, the, the content of the videos themselves were not, you know, just wishing, I would argue. For many of them, it was a relatively minor point, part of the video. Like, the last weapons only video, we only did 30 pulls. It lasted maybe five minutes or so. And then the rest of it was me discussing and doing grinding and thinking about how the heck I'm going to utilize the things. And so I, I it's not just wishing, but it, when you go to my channel, it sure as heck looks like I just do wishing content. And that's not the kind of creator I want to be. I'd like to have... Slightly higher quality content than just wishing constant content constantly. <laughs> but you know what? It's good bait. It made you watch it, didn't it? So, ow. If you've learned anything about me from my videos, it's probably that I'm bad at shutting up sometimes. But it's fine. Because in normal social situations, believe it or not, I mostly just sit and observe. It's actually something that's a problem with me, in my opinion. In, in If I meant like a family gathering... I, I should speak more and speak out more, but I tend to just be like, I'm going to be the silent observer that sits in the corner and, like, makes weird hand motions and stares at... No, um, I just... I do converse with my family. It's just... I don't know. It's anti-social person things, I guess. I'm actually anti-social. Yet I talk constantly on my YouTube videos, and it is weird. Um, I am not the same person that I am in real life. And I don't even know if I'm going to include any of this in the video. I might include it in the video because we have less to do in this video. Dandelions, wonderful. Yoink. I might include this in the video because... Why not, I guess? Uh, we have less specific of a goal in mind for this week. So I may as well just include whatever ramblings I have. This is what you get. This is what you came for. Oh yeah, I would take Gene to level 90 right away. But I think I'm going to be a little bit smart and save some of our heroes what's for official. At least... But if we do end up liking the Sunfire teams, then I will, I will, don't, don't be a jerk. Then I will. Wait, you can't? What? You can't do that? It's, <gasps> that's so lame. So the, okay, the, oh boy, I'm going to have to go down to my main account here and probably like get a clip of using C1 gene. So I, what I was surprised about there was I, what I was trying to do, I was trying to pick up the hilly trail. And then yeet them across somewhere. Uh, because that's a thing you can do with Ye Gene C1. Gene C1 can pick up lightweight enemies. And you can just like grab them. And yeet them across wherever you want. And it's really fantastic. And I thought that just worked in her base kit. Because when I first played this game. I got Gene as my first 5 star character on standard banner. And then I got Gene as my first character I got on the limited banner. When I lost to 50-50. So I was basically very used to having C1 Gene. And I thought you could just grab Hilly Trails and yeet them across at the, with their base kit. I didn't realize that her her base kit the, the increases the polling speed after holding for more than one second was so relevant is what is what enabled that, right? So I guess let me go log on to my main account quick, and I'll and I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about here. Oh, actually, before I log into my main account, another thing that's really that's relevant uh, that, I, that someone informed me of that. I was not aware of how Sunfire worked because I haven't ever played Sunfire before and hadn't really looked into it. But is an important distinction for how it functions is... So I had said in the previous video that when you use Jean's burst and Bennett's burst together, Jean infuses Pyro on her burst and that like that is what gives you the rapid Pyro application. What actually happens is Jean self-applies Animo to herself and Bennett's burst self-applies Pyro to your active character. So whatever your active character is, you're constantly getting pyro and animo constantly reapplied, which then constantly triggers swirls, and those pyro swirls you can then vaporize or overload off. That's what makes Sunfire strong. So it's not actually that Jean infuses pyro on her burst, it's that she self-applies animo. So I can just demonstrate it right here. We do Bennett's burst, we do Jean's thing, and we can just stand still, and you can see the little explosion, the pyro explosion. That's the swirls being triggered on Jean herself, right? And that is the rapid application. Every time that happens, that is a pyro hit. That's a pyro swirl that you can then vaporize or 
or overload or whatever other reaction you you might want to do. The reason that's an important distinction, by the way, is so if you have someone like, say, Xing Cho, that's because the, the damaging area is not within the circle. It's not just enemies within the circle, right? It's enemies that are within the small AoE around your character. So it's a very important distinction that definitely matters for like how you play it. All right, so here's Gina, my main account, and I want to demonstrate here. All right, come here, shilly boy. And so I can do this. Like, you can't do this without C1G, apparently. That's super lame. So, I mean, it's cool. It's a cool thing about C1. It doesn't really matter, realistically, in mostly combat situations. But it's something that genuinely like, it was the most fun thing I, I enjoyed about Jean when I had her on my main account and used her for so long on this account. And the fact that she doesn't do that in her base kit is a real bummer, in my opinion. Uh, is is kind of all I'm saying. Because it's just, it was too fun in my first, when first playing the game, that I was able to just like, be like, alright, Hilly Trill, bye bye And like, eat them off of a bridge or something. Like, I remember going through Enkonomia with Jean, and just, yoinking a Hilly Trill, like this, and saying, bye bye And it's too great. <laughs> it's too great. So it's a real bummer that that's locked behind C1. By the way, an important question that I probably should have mentioned in the intro to this video, uh, is uh, I want to answer whether or not, you know, the Sunfire combo is actually good for weapons only. I think the answer is hopefully yes, but we'll find out. My intention is to get Gene level 80, and then we can try out Sunfire probably in, not this event, but uh, this event, which is ending in a few days, so I gotta do it anyways. We'll try out this event in this video, why not, and see how, how it go. Alright, there we go, and last thing, wait, no. No, we have to do it two more times, I forgot. Now it gives me three. Sad, of course, classic. I think I just realized, by the way, I think this might be the first team on Weapons Only that, that it was accidental, it wasn't really on purpose. This might be the first team of Weapons Only that's probably had all five-star weapons. So we got Skyward Spine on Chung Ling, Rosaria on Staff of Scarlet Sands, Bennett on Nikila Favonia, and Jean on good old Freedom's Horn that we just got here. So that's uh, something. It doesn't actually matter that much. In fact, it's a downside in some ways. It's like not having fab weapons on a team is generally speaking probably a bad thing <laughs> but it's fine it's weapons only it's the point very difficult fight very very difficult all right and there we go last one we need and oh i definitely thought i was gonna give us three again that's what it usually does ammo bonus with sadness on the stats cool all right well there we go now we got enough of these and now the only problem is of course this uh, oh yeah, as far as like talents go, it, for Sunfire, it doesn't matter because the swirl damage is based on, uh, just based on her level, right? So what matters more than anything is just leveling her up for swirl. Talon's already leveled up a little bit, and we might level it more. Realistically though, other than for her healing, it doesn't matter that much for the build we intend to use Jean on. Okay, so Dandelions, we need, we have, we need 30 for, oh god, this is not gonna be fun. Uh, let's see, we need 30, or 23 for the next level. Uh, four, 45 and then 60. Oh, good God. Okay, I, yeah, we're gonna definitely gonna have to go on co-op. All right, I'm gonna go on the interactive map and see what there is for dandelions around the map. I remember these being annoying, and now I have to get 100 of them in one day. Ooh, yay. <laughs> All right, so looking at the map here, uh, there is 53 dandelion scenes in the map, which is not many, and they're all freaking sped across everywhere. So, uh, <laughs> I need like 130, which means if I get all of them from my world, I'm going to have to go into at least two more people's worlds to get the 130 I need today, which is such a pain in the butt. Uh, but, oh well. All right, there we go. So I placed a whole bunch of stickers down around the spots I think I'll go, both in my world and other people's worlds, to get, uh, to get our dandelions. This is, is going to take a hot minute. <laughs> Dandelion, 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 dandelion. Oh, and despite Jean being the fitting one to pick all these dandelions, I am going to use Sucrose because Sucrose is an Animo character. Wait, no, Sucrose, well, duh, but they're both Animos, you dumb brain. Sucrose is a Catalyst character, which means I don't have to deal with, like, cooldowns. But I do have to deal with targeting, not hitting the dandelion, apparently. There we go. Danda lie in 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 danda lie in. All right, I think that's all the dandelions in my world. Uh, I probably screwed up my weird dandelion thing, 
Uh, but there's, it, I don't know. It's just gonna make it a pain in the butt to edit. This is the wrong character. Do 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 do. How many do we have? We got 39 now. <laughs> this is gonna take a while to do the full ascension. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I guess we'll do this ascension. Blam. Get her last passive unlocked. What is her last passive? Her last passive, uh, using dandelion breeze. I assume, yeah, that's her burst. It gets for twenty percent of her energy back. So, okay, that's that's a weird passive. Um, on one hand, good because she has an eighty energy cost. That functionally, what you know, twenty percent that reduces her energy down to like sixty four. Um, that's good. But also, like, Mahalia, why didn't you just, like, make her energy cost be 60 in the first place and then give her a passive that's, I don't know, let's say, like, bonus swirl damage or something. I don't know. Uh, something useful instead of something that could have just been, like, in her base kit. I, I don't know. So I don't know how I feel about that passive. But it's it's good. It, it helps us make it, it makes it, it easier to build her, I guess. So I, I guess I shouldn't complain. All right, now I get to do the fun thing of trying to find people that will let me in their world. So... Yay. Well, someone let me in already. Alright, that's lucky. When I've done this in the past, it can take a, an annoyingly long time to just get into someone's world. Hello. Dandelions. Thanks. Alright, wonderful. They gave us permission to steal all their dandelions. Let's go. Alright. This should be the last one in this world. I always like to offer people if they want. If, if people give me something in co-op, I tend to try to remember to offer if they need anything. Most people don't ask for anything. And then occasionally you get slightly unlucky and they want your help for an hour. And then sometimes you get people that go AFK like this, like Hypno did. Well, since they're AFK, I'm going to get off of their world and we're going to find someone else. Current dandelion count is exactly 45. I guess we may as well ascend her. And descend again. Blam, there we go. Hey look, more wishing content. Dreams. Oh, it's a four star. Something useful. As always, it's only desire. That's a Diota. This is like the third Diota I think we've gotten. I'm not sure. Does that make Diota useful? Probably not. Um Yep, that's the Wow, of any there's lots of characters I would love to have C one, C two of. Um Diota is not one of them. <laughs> oh, wow. The, the first person I think I, I clicked on let me in. What a world. Ah, oh, what the... F ah, this is not what I wanted. Hello. I guess we're helping with this. Hey, they're lovely. <laughs> the dandelions. Do you want me? <laughs> what is this person? <laughs> is, is this... Is this person role playing Kave? I don't think this is how Kave would speak. Also. Also what? You're gonna play some music for me later, is that okay? Absolutely. Now go get him dandelions, I'll stay right here. <laughs> okay, this is it's an interesting person. I don't know. I like I like running into fun people in co-op. Danda lie in 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 Alright, we're at 36 out of 60. Almost there. But first we need to go listen to Ghost of Vra Vraka's song. They were already playing when I teleported.
That was that was awesome, Ghost of Barca. I will listen to whatever you play. By the way, Ghost of Barca doesn't know that this is in a video. I'll probably tell them at the end. Do you mind if I include that in a YouTube video? It's honestly amazing to me that people are just like playing instruments in this game. It's one of the cooler parts of this game. It's not something I interact with, but it's awesome. Well, I don't know how many of these I'm going to include because I don't want the whole video to be listening to Ghost of Raka as, well, as great as they are. But I am going to sit here and listen to Ghost of Raka. Thanks for making my day. Genuine. I'm not, not just like handing out compliments. I mean, I like being nice to people, but um, genuinely, like, it. This kind of random thing took my Genshin day for, but oh, I gotta go collect a bunch of dandelions to, uh, Ghost of Rock and now gave me, like, a unique, nice, fun little Genshin memory. It's one of the, like, those little kinds of things, one of the best things about Genshin, to, in my opinion. You know, it's much more fun seeing that kind of thing. That, that has ten times the value than, you know, all of the wishes I've done on the weapon banner to me. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll also, I also want to give, I'll give Ghost of Rock a, the exclusive, Weapons only friend list. I, oh no, I wanted to send a friend request. There you go. Friend request. Well, goodbye. Bye. Thanks again. Okay, well that was a little bit... We got a little distracted by Ghost of Varka there for a bit, but that was a fun experience. I have no idea what, uh, how many of the Varka's songs I'm gonna include in this, but we just gotta go collect a few more dandelions. I think we only need to find one more person. Alright, this is the co-op experience I expected. Decline, 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 decline. <laughs> hey, someone accepted. Yeah, let's go. Dan, duh, bye, in. Alright, is that all we need? That's exactly enough. Yay, wonderful. And we need to go... I Well, I hope I have enough to craft these. Let's go craft those. I can only craft 12. Oh, wonderful. That's a classic. Okay. I love when even when the boss drops the right things for the character you're leveling up, you still, for some reason, don't get enough for them, but... Wh whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Dust of Azoth it is. Anyways, I also need a whole bunch of these. The sucrose will double some. Craft. Hey, she gave me three bonus. Hey, exactly 24. That's what I needed. Thank you, sucrose. And blam, ascend... Jean's final ascension. There we go. Still not good enough. There we go. So Jean's gonna stay at level 80 out of 90 for now. I want to finish the leveling this artifact though to see if it gets at least a crit roll at the end to make it nice. L look more nice. We'll see. Or it gets 18% attack and I'll be sad. Ah. <laughs> I like how it didn't even get 18% by the way because it was another minimum roll. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know what to think about that artifact. That's that's just sadness incarnate, I'll be honest. Rolls three, is a four line that rolls three times into the the worst stat it could have rolled into. Like, heavy ER would have made it very useful in some ways. Heavy crit would have made it very useful in some ways. Heavy attack, it's like, it has good stat value, but it's like... Uh, that artifact made me sad, so I want to level up this one to feel less sad. But it's probably just going to make me more sad. Yep. Well, that artifact is a good good opportunity to plug my Discord. Recently, I just made a channel called Luck is an Illusion on my Discord. If you're interested in joining, join the link below in the description or something. But you can submit your sad artifacts like our Elemental Mastery one, and people will vote on them in this channel. And you can get a special role on the Discord in case, you know, you, you get your Yoli artifact that rolls entirely into flat defense. All right, it's a new day on weapons only. The 3.8 live stream happened, and I got a whole bunch of codes, which is nice. A little Primo Gem in 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 injection. I can speak. That's a good good sign for the start of my day. We have work to do. We do have work to do, Gene. We do have work to do. All right, we got to do this event because I think it's ending in two days. That's the main thing we need to do, and that is probably probably going to be it for this video. I think I said I was going to do Abyss too, but I'll be honest, I'm not in an Abyss mood. If you want to see me do Abyss, there's a good chance I'll do it on stream the day this video comes out. Maybe. Question mark. This event is really interesting, by the way. I really wish that this was like how Abyss was designed. So if you don't want to deal with the time challenge, you can just, you know, put modifiers on and you have to reach a score threshold to be able to clear the Abyss. I feel like that would be a lot more fun, personally. For our purposes on weapons only, we are certainly not going to... We're not, we're not going to go for 6,000 points. Um... We're going to go for 2,000 points because we won the more. That's 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 my goal here. 
I forgot to talk about the 3.8 things. I guess I may as well talk about the 3.8 things while we uh, wait for this dude to do, you know, its moves. So Kaya has a skin, is what I wanted to mention with Kaya, which is good. Kaya getting more drippy. Not that he wasn't drippy before, but he, he being more drippy. Uh, as far as banners go for weapons only, so the first phase is Eula and Klee, which means Song of Broken Pines, well, presumably means Song of Broken Pines and Lost Pair to the Sacred Winds. And then second half is Wander and Kokomi. Yeah, so anyways, Wander's weapon and Kokomi's weapon, weapon in the second half, and then Lost Prayers and Song of Broken Pines, I presume, in the first half. Both of those weapon banners, Song of Broken Pines is like garbage. It's it's pretty garbage in general. Definitely garbage for weapons only. I don't really need a physical damage bonus claymore, to say the least. Um, I mean, we could build Razor as Mahoyo intended, maybe, I guess, with that, but no. <laughs> uh... And then Lost Prayers would be, like, cool to have, but for the risk of getting a Song of Broken Pines, I, no. And then second half, Wander's weapon, Kokomi's weapon. Kokomi's weapon is a similar situation. It's basically near useless. Where is the real one? There he is. Stop. Stop teleporting. Oh, my God. It's taken me so long to fight this, bro. I should have just talked. This is why I don't talk about things while I'm doing combat in the game, because I my brain just fails the brain. But, yeah. Kokomi's weapon, hot garbage. Yulo's weapon, hot garbage. Klee's weapon, pretty okay. Oh, I just killed Rosaria again. Uh, Klee, Klee's weapon is a standard banner weapon too, right? Lost prayers. And that's kind of all there is to it, right? So it's not worth wishing. And I believe I mentioned this earlier in the episode, but I want to break from wishing. <laughs> Spent too long. Too many videos have been just wishing videos. I keep hitting the, switching to Rosaria. Uh, so, you know, we're going to chill out with the wishes for a Brit. A Brit? And we'll return to wishing on this account in 4.0. That's my thinking. Can I stop clicking to switch to Rosaria? Alright, please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please... Okay. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We got our 2,000 points. That was... It took six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that might be one of the best showings we've ever had for why five-star weapons don't really make that much of a difference. Anyways, look, that, that enemy sucks. And I may have not chosen the best team to fight it, but hey, we got the rewards. It's all that matters. Now let's actually try to test Sunfire or something, maybe. Oh, this one needs a ranged character. Ah, oh, frick. <laughs> Why don't they choose these bosses? It's like a fun concept, and they chose the worst bosses for it, man. Uh, all right, we're going to try Sunfire plus Amber to be able to knock down the butthole and see how this goes. Sunfire Vape, if, it's, if that's not obvious by the Xing Chou inclusion. Don't kill me, dog. <laughs> uh, okay. He killed me fast. Whoops. Now Shinjo has no energy because he died. Whatever. Why is Jean no add to- Ow, no. Everything's terrible. Everything's fell like a part. Alright. Do this right. Hey, we knocked him down. What a world. Alright, I'll be honest. The Sunfire combo on its own doesn't feel like it's doing much here. I definitely liked Sunfire and Melt a bit more. But the problem with liking Sunfire and Melt a bit more is like, I'm pretty sure Sugros is still better. <laughs> so, I'll be honest. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of struggling to see how I, I get to make unique use out of a Sunfire on the account, which is a bit sad, but I don't know. Based on what I showed in this video, feel free to tell me if I've done something wrong with trying to use Sunfire. I'm sure there's rotational things I could do better, but like, yeah. Obviously right now, you know, having Chinjo's Burst up would be pretty important. This was probably the best test I've seen for just the raw contribution of Sunfire alone, since Sunfire has done the vast majority of the damage here. Yay. Sunfire for the win. <laughs> 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 
eight minutes. <laughs> eight minutes. I, look, it was Sunfire alone, like doing that. Normally, you would have someone that's not Amber in the four slot. And I know it was Sunfire alone, but that's that's really bad. Sorry, I'm starting to think I'm just really terrible at this game or something. But I swear, my other accounts get much better times than that. All right, Sunfire Melt, let's go. These buttholes suck your energy away. I forgot about that. That was pretty good. I, it was. It was not great. I mean, it was fine. I. <laughs> you can't run. I guess anything like in this situation where we're against bosses, I think it's better. Probably Sucrose. Against a situation where he gets back up and gets his health back. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, cramp man. Let me know if I'm dumb and if I've done something wrong. I need to attack the other one. All right. Now I should kill him. Ah, uh, not if Rosaria dies. Oh my good good. What is happening? What is happening? No. Okay, good lord. Hey, three minutes and 46 seconds. That was better. <laughs> A team doesn't feel bad to play, I would be clear. Just those bosses are really annoying. All these bosses that they chose for this event are really annoying. So this was maybe not the best place to test Sunfire, is what I can say. Um, and again, Freedom Sworn can be useful. Like, uh, we, we can, we can try Freedom Sworn, for example, on Kaya. The higher base attack and EM is good. And the team wide buff is good for if we do like the double cryo, double pyro melt team, right? All right. So we're just going to try double cryo, double pyro melt. And then second side, I basically just put the hyper bloom core if we need it. And then Amber is here because we need Amber for the stupid dragon. Yay. Now we can finally properly test Kaya and Freedom Sworn. <laughs> Oh my god, it's way too much long way too much time to get here. Everybody stand! Lights out! Freeze! Oh, so sorry. What's the hurt? Nice 13k in Kaya's skill I saw. Not bad. Don't touch my energy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you. No, I. No. Please. No, are you. <laughs> it was going so well. I hate these. <laughs> I, like, I love that he just died, by the way, literally right after the other one gained his health back, too. That was really cool. You know, and now they're both at half health. You, you dodged my skill. Oh my god. <laughs> This is still far more enjoyable of a combat challenge, by the way, than like the Abyss normally is because, again, it doesn't have to be a time challenge, so it actually is like kind of interesting to do, in, in my opinion. Oh, Kai's Burst is not up, but it's fine. Hopefully we can kill them finally. Ah, thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> 14 minutes. Hey, I, I, you know what? I'm pretty sure that's less combined time than it took for all of them separately. So, what I have learned is I like double cryo, double pyro melt more than sunfire melt. And sunfire, I, it might, it's, it's very foggy. Wow. Uh, sunfire might have a place somewhere else, but I think I actually like Freedom Sworn for Kaya a little bit more. So there's that that that's what I got. <laughs> I suppose that's the end of the video. Um 
the let me know your feedback. Check out my live streams if you want to see more pain. I'll probably I'll tr probably try more Sunfire or Kaya with Freedom Sworn in the Abyss on my live streams this weekend, and it'll probably be the same day this video comes out. If you're watching this on Saturday or whatever, I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, whatever's. Bye bye.